Welcome to AATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, let us discuss about hemolytic uremic syndrome. We have discussed previously about thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. This is one of the closest differential diagnosis for uh, TTP. HUS and TTP has got similar features. Uh, we'll see what are the clinical features and differentiating features between HUS and TTP. It's an acute fulminant disorder characterized by thrombocytopenia. This is there in TTP. Microangiopathic hemolytic anemia that is also there in TTP. And acute kidney failure. The incidence of acute kidney failure is less in TTP but it is more in HUS. HUS occurs in children. TTP occurs more common in adults. Following an infection, typically Shiga toxin producing bacteria E. coli 0157H7 but it can also occur in adults and it can occur as a part of non Shigella toxin HUS and sometimes it can be due to other infections like streptococci also. TTP we have seen that uh, it is similar to HUS. The clinical findings are all are similar to HUS, but altered mental status, low GCS are very common in TTP than kidney failure. Kidney failure may occur in some patients who is having TTP, but comparing to HUS that is less. So we have already discussed that HUS and TTP has got almost similar features and uh, HUS has got more renal involvement, TTP has got more CNS involvement. HUS is mainly seen in children, TTP is mainly seen in adults. It can, but uh, both conditions can seen in both age groups also. Shiga toxin producing syndrome is uh, HUS, TTP the causes are different, Adams 13. Uh, protease uh, deficiency is the major cause. When we subclassify HUS, there are two important subclassification. One is Shiga like toxin induced HUS, other one is non Shiga toxin induced HCS. It can be sporadic or familial. Familial, we will not be discussing all these things here, we will be discussing only important conditions here. The non shiga toxin HUS can occur as sporadic or familial. Familial is associated with genetical abnormalities in complement regulatory proteins. The patients with non, -HT, non shiga toxin HUS has poor outcome comparing with shiga toxin HUS and many of them will progress to renal failure. 50% of the patients may progress to renal failure and 25% may die during acute attacks. It can be due to various infections like streptococcal pneumonia, viruses, quinine, quinidine, anti-cancer drugs, malignancies, post-transplantation, pregnancy and familial we have seen it is due to complement regulatory protein deficiency or uh, abnormalities. SLE, APLA syndrome, all these things can produce uh, sporadic type of non stx hus shigella there are different types of shigellas can produce uh, uh, this problem in that e coli serotype 0157 h7 is the most important cause for uh, hus other various other organism or various subgroups of E. coli also can produce uh, HUS that is seen in these slides. Now if we see the clinical features, the, the clinical features of HUS, TTP, DIC, ITP all will have some resemblance uh, when we are treating in emergency room. So 
पेशेंट कैन हैव फीवर पेशेंट कैन हैव हेमेचूरिया प्रोटीनोरिया रिनल फेलियर अप टू फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स कैन हैव रिनल फेलियर अराउंड फोर्टी सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स कैन हैव हाइपर टेंशन ऑल्सो यूरेमिया सो रिनल इन्वॉलमेंट इज अ प्रोमिनेंट फीचर इन एच यू एस बट दैट इज नॉट देर इन टी टी पी दैट इज नॉट देर इन आई टी पी दैट इज दैट मे बी देर इन डी आई सी माइक्रो एंजियोपैथिक हिमोलैटिक एनिमिया इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज नॉट एन इम्यून मीडिएटेड सो कूम्स टेस्ट विल बी नेगेटिव थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया कैन बी देर इन मेनी पेशेंट्स डिस्पाइट लो पेशेंट्स देर इज यूशली नो परप्यूरा और एक्टिव ब्लीडिंग यू कैन सी इन दिस टाइप ऑफ पेशेंट्स सिरम एल डी एच कैन बी एलिवेटेड बिकॉज यू कैन सी द पेशेंट इज हाइन हिमोलैटिक एनिमिया सो एल डी एच बिलिरोबिन ऑल दिस थिंग्स कैन बी एलिवेटेड बट कोगुलेशन टेस्ट आर नॉर्मली इन ए पर्सन हू इज हाविंग इनिशियल एच यू एस दे आर नॉर्मल न्यूरोजिकल एबनॉमेलिटीज आर वेरी रेयर इन दिस टाइप ऑफ कंडीशन बट वेर एस टी टी पी न्यूरोजिकल एबनॉमेलिटीज आर वेरी कामन हेपेटोमेगली कैन बी दर सम पेशेंट्स इन लेटर स्टेजस यू कैन गेट एस टी ओ टी एस टी पी टी एलिवेशन कैन बी दर माइक्रो एंजियोपैथिक हिमोलैटिक एनिमिया इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट फीचर ऑफ ऑल दिस कंडीशन वेदर इट इज टी टी पी एच यू एस ऑल दिस थिंग्स यू कैन गेट दिस टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इट इज नॉन इम्यून माइक्रो एंजियोपैथिक हिमोलैटिक एनिमिया दैट्स वाई कोम्स टेस्ट विल बी नेगेटिव सो दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन्वेस्टिगेशन कोम्स टेस्ट विल बी नेगेटिव डैमेज टू एंडोथीलियल सेल्स इज द प्राइमरी इवेंट इन पैथोजेंस ऑफ एच यू एस द कार्डनल लिशन कॉम्पोस्ट ऑफ आर्टीरियर और कैपलरी माइक्रोथम्बी दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम हियर द प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द ब्लड वेसल वॉल्स फ्रॉम देयर दे विल बी इनिशियल इंजुरी दैट लीड्स टू माइक्रोथ्रॉम्बे दैट माइक्रोथ्रॉम्बे प्रोड्यूस कंसम्शन ऑफ प्लेटलेट्स प्लेटलेट्स लेवल्स विल बी लो देन अलॉन्ग विद दिस माइक्रोथ्रॉम्बे पेशेंट डेवलप्स हिमोलाइसिस ऑल्सो दैट लीड्स टू हिमोलाइटिक एनिमिया नो वेन एवर वी हैव अ पेशेंट विथ हिमोलाइटिक एनिमिया वी हैव टू डू सम इन्वेस्टिगेशन यू कैन सी पेरीफरल ब्लड स्मेयर इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स इन द पेरीफरल ब्लड स्मेयर यू कैन सी शिस्टोसाइट्स हेलमेट सेल्स दीज आर दिल्स विच कैन बी प्रोड्यूस बाई फ्रैगमेंटेशन ऑफ आर बी सी सो दे आर ऑल देर थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया ऑल्सो विल बी कन्फर्मड एंड एल डी एच विल बी एलिवेटेड बिकॉज ऑफ हिमोलाइसिस इनडायरेक्ट हाइपर बिल्ड्रोपिनिमिया कैन बी देर इन हिमोलाइसिस होम्स टेस्ट विल बी नेगेटिव बिकॉज इट्स नॉन इम्यून मीडिएटेड हिमोलाइटिक एनिमिया यूरिया क्रियाटिन कैन बी एलिवेटेड इन ऑल पेशेंट्स हू इज आइंग रिनल इन्वॉलमेंट ऑफ एच यू एस सम पेशेंट्स विथ टी टी पी ऑल्सो यू कैन गेट एलिवेटेड क्रियाटिन यूरिन एनालिसिस शोज इनिशियली प्रोटीन यूरिया आर बी सी देन आर बी सी कास्ट कैन बी दर स्टूल कल्चर शुड बी डन टू एवेलुएट वेदर द इकोल इंफेक्शन इज दर सीरो वन फाइव सेवन एच सेवन इज अ कामन बैक्टीरिया बट यू कैन गेट अदर बैक्टीरिया ऑल्सो ऑल्सो सो यू हैव टू सी पी सी आर टेस्टिंग और कल्चर टेस्टिंग टू कन्फर्म द डायग्नोसिस यू एस टी अबडम कैन बी डन इन अ पेशेंट हू इज आइंग एच यू एस और टी टी पी टू सी वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर द रीनल फेलियर समटाइम्स पेशेंट मे हैव प्री एक्सिस्टिंग किडनी डिसीज कॉर्टिको मेडिलरी डिफरेंशिएशन मे नॉट बी प्रिसर्व और एनी रीनल स्टोन एवरी कैन बी रूल आउट बै यू एस टी बट अक्यूट रीनल फेलियर यू मे नॉट गेट एनी फाइंडिंग इन यू एस टी अबडम बट अदर कासस् शुड बी रूल आउट Complement serology can be done in a patient who is having uh, HUS. So complement uh, factors like CH50 uh, or C3 will be low. That should be uh, done in uh, HUS. Especially a typical HUS, uh, you can see complement factor B and complement factor uh, CH50. associated with uh, diarrhea associated uh, hus you can see c3 also will be low why this c3 is utilized because you, c3 complements are utilized whenever there is a antibody complement mediated attack towards the body system the complement will be utilized so in uh, conditions where their complements are utilized when we do lab investigation we can see the levels of complement especially c3 levels can be low so many conditions who is having complement mediated uh, damage you can see you can see one of the e- useful tool is c3 c4 and other types of complement that can be low in acute attack so 
the major difference between TT, TTP and HUS we have already seen that uh, in both the condition thrombocytopenia is there, microangiopathic hemolytic anemia is there, renal involvement is mild in TTP, it is severe in HUS. CNS involvement is very very mild or not at all seen in HUS but uh, in TTP it is very common. Fever can be there in both the conditions. TTP is common in adults, HUS is common in children. Adam's 13 abnormality is the major cause for TTP. Adam's 13 abnormality can be there in some of these conditions HUS also but it is mainly due to other problem like Shiga toxin or other infections or other malignancies, uh, drugs, all these things. Another important condition, DIC also can come into picture. Patients with uh, DIC will have similar clinical findings, but the DIC, the major, uh, Im major important uh, things are PTINR is elevated, APTT is elevated, fibrinogen is low. These are the three investigations which will tell you that it is DIC, not TTP and ITP or uh, uh, HUS. All this TTP, ITP, HUS, uh, you may get some prolongation of PTNR in sepsis and all, but uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation, both the pathways of coagulation pathways are damaged. So, prothrombin time INR is elevated, other line you have APTT is also elevated. Since both the pathways are abnormal, final product that is fibrinogen levels are low. So, these three components will tell you that it is DIC. So, DIC by lab investigation definition, you should have all the features like uh, uh, thrombocytopenia, bleeding tendencies, all these things are there. But lab investigation wise, patient will have uh, elevated PTNR, elevated APTT, low fibrinogen. That will give you the report of DIC. So, that is also a very strong differential diagnosis for uh, HUS. Now, if you see this chart, it is a very complicated chart, but what you have to understand is TTP and HUS has got similar type of features. If you see the Adams 13 level, you can make a possible diagnosis of uh, TTP because uh, uh, Adams 13 uh, deficiency is classically seen in uh, TTP. But if you see the HUS part, there also Adams 13 inhibition is occurring. But it will not produce clinic lab uh, error, lab wise it will not produce any deficiency in Adams 13. So, it will only produce some inhibition there, but it will not produce any uh, lab uh, levels uh, abnormalities, it cannot be there. Now, complication, the most important complication is kidney failure. Uh, uh, e. coli induced uh, 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 e. coli induced uh, HUS, the renal failure may revert back to normal, most of the patients will become normal. But uh, patients who is having uh, the other types of uh, HUS, uh, like non shiga toxin uh, HUS have higher chance for uh, persistent renal failure, persistent end, uh, end stage renal disease. Other conditions like patient can have stroke, coma, seizures, bleeding, they are all rare. It is mainly kidney failure. Now, factors which predict poor prognosis are follows. non shiga toxin HUS, prolonged oliguria, anuria, severe hypertension, involvement of medium-sized arteries, severity of CNS symptoms, persistence consumption of coagulation factors, extensive glomerular involvement, adult more age more than, so age of the patient more than 5 years. These all are poor prognosis. But remember, HUS, the classical findings are thrombocytopenia, renal involvement. If any other organ involvement is there, like CNS involvement is there, liver involvement is there, it is going to some other picture, like patient may be having sepsis or patient may, may be having toxicity. Their complications are very, very high. That is the main thing uh, we should understand. Now, the management is, uh, uh, it is not like TTP. Most of these patients will recover without any major treatment. You have to suppose you find that shigella is already there, you have to treat with antibiotics, that's all. Hypertension, calcium channel blockers like nifedipine is a better drug because uh, we no need to continue this drug for long period. Most of the patients recover with the initial problem itself. So, uh, short acting uh, 
calcium channel blockers like nifedipine can be given plasma exchange in adults that it is the treatment of ttp here also we can give if the patient is having severe problem so exchange transfusion 80 ml per kg repeated until the remission is achieved so plasma paresis or plasma exchange can be given in this type of patients so 62 m 80 ml per kg plasma should be removed and replaced with fft plasma exchange is contraindicated in sporadic type of uh, hus that is streptococcal pneumonia induced non stx hus it may exacerbate the disease because adult plasma most of the adult plasma may contain antibodies against uh, this type of bacteria so we have to be very careful uh, in a sporadic case uh, HU, uh, plasma exchange may produce adverse effects but uh, they are rare they, these conditions are very rare ikulusimab is a monoclonal antibody to complement factor 5 that blocks complement activation is used for treatment of patients with complement mediated hus patients with shiga toxin uh, hus and severe cns involvement you can give this initial dosing of eclusimab uh, to treat stc hus depending on the body weight 5 to 10 kg 300 mg 10 to 40 kg 600 mg 40 kg to 90 kg uh sorry 40 kg onwards 900 mg the second dose at the day 7 after the first dose can be given dialysis should be recommended for patient who is having renal failure there are some more drugs uh, recently uh, added regime revolizumab that is another drug uh, for uh, this type of uh, uh, disease that also can be given instead of eclusimab renal transplant should be advised in patients who is having end stage renal disease but that is not very common with uh, uh, shiga toxin induced hus it is all common with uh, non shiga toxin induced hus that are these conditions are very rare so we have discussed about another important uh, emergency medicine problem especially in pediatric age group that is hus it has got a strong differential diagnosis that is uh, uh, ttp other differential diagnosis are itp and uh, patients who is having dic but in clinical practice we get lot of patients with similar condition like dengue you can have leptospirosis you can have Uh, uh, hantavirus you can have so many infectious diseases have got similar clinical finding it is very very difficult to diagnose this type of diseases in emergency room but uh, uh, during uh, uh, ward stay or icu stay we can make out this type of disease by uh, doing various investigation like we can do uh, complement levels we can do adams 13 so these are the speci- speci- specialized investigation we had to do in some of the patients who is having thrombocytopenia so thrombocytopenia is only a clinical finding there are lot of inve- there are lot of uh, serious disorders can be behind the thrombocytopenia so it is our duty to find out all these things the knowledge of this diseases can pick up the exact diagnosis and treatment thank you